Sarah from Penny and Public Library welcoming you to another story time. I've got my bubbles here. Don't worry if you don't have bubbles. If you don't have a bubble machine or just regular bubbles like these, there's lots of stuff you can do at home to move and work out. Maybe put some music on. We're just going to try to get our wiggles out before story time. So you can reach for the bubbles on your screen. Whew. They're fun to catch. You can dance. You can jump up and down. Take a couple deep breaths. Whoa, look at that. Wow, so many bubbles. <laughs> Just find some delight before we settle in for story time. All right, friends, are you ready to sing? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Woohoo! You know, that's my favorite part. All right, what's my name? Do you know? It's Miss Sarah. I'm gonna listen and you clap out your name. Great job! Did everybody at home get a chance? Let's let everybody have a turn. Wonderful job, friends. Are you ready for the first story? Today we're talking about winter. So, of course, we had to break out our classic favorite, The Snowy Day, by Ezra Jack Keats. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I just love how simple and beautiful the pictures and the story are. The Snowy Day Ezra, by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Can you walk like that? Then he walked with his toes pointing in like that. See how they're different? You try it at home. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Can you guess what's going on here? It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. There he goes. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman, and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Have you ever done that? Lots of kids do that. It's a fun experiment. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. 
He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out into, together into the deep, deep snow. The end. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, if you have snow at home, you can go out and try making a snowball and put it in your freezer and see what happens. Or maybe just leave it in your coat pocket. Ask your grown-up first. Are you ready for another story? Great. This one is called A Winter Day by Douglas Florian. We read A Beach Day the other day. Uh, so it's fun to see his story about a totally different time of year. A Winter Day by Douglas Florian. A winter day. Cold and gray. Snowflakes. Pancakes. Cover your heads. Skates and sleds. A snowball grows. Warm your toes. Everything white. Orange light. A winter night. The end. Isn't that beautiful? All right, I have a challenge for you today, and that's to have an indoor snowball fight. And to have your indoor snowball fight, you're gonna need socks. <laughs> Hopefully you've got socks at home, and you're just gonna take the socks and ball them up. And now you have a perfect snowball. It's not gonna hurt anybody. And you can have an indoor snowball fight, or you can play catch with your snowball or you can hide your snowball, play hide and seek. I hope you have a great time with your indoor snowball fight. Thanks for coming to Storytime today. Let me know if you enjoyed your snowball fight and let's sing our final song. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. Roll your hands around and wave goodbye. Bye friends, have a great day.